What's good, YouTube? It's Anthony back at it with another video. In today's video, we have another Yeezy slide, and this is the restock pair of the Yeezy slide in the resin colorway. It's like this light color green, which I'm a huge fan of. Super sweet, especially with the fall coming up. You really can't beat it with this slide and colorway. And so in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this slide, going over everything you need to know about it before picking up yourself a slide of this colorway. Along with resale predictions, sizing, especially sizing is very crucial for slides because they do run small and just depending on the colorway and like the remodel and everything, a little bit different, a little bit of a little bit of critique and everything for the sizing. So make sure you stay until the end for that. Along with everything else that makes this slide so comfy from the box to the slide and just the overall comfort, this is the slide, especially easy slides the past year, about the solid year, everyone's just been going crazy for slides and retail market is definitely coming down quite a bit and we're going to be discussing that as well so before we hop into the video make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video i appreciate all the support recently on my channel it's been insane guys so i'm going to be keep bringing you guys the heat with the unreleased stuff to the new stuff gr releases you name it guys we got it also check me out on instagram at anything got souls also in the description shoes for sale sizes pretty much everything from three and a half grade school all the way up until 14 grade school. So DM me your size and I can definitely get definitely get you guys hooked up with some heat. So without um, getting into this video and everything, starting off with the box. I love Yeezy boxes and everything with a cardboard, super s slick and just settle with the Yeezy slide or the slide written on the top. Here's your size tag. This is an 11 men's, pretty much flexible sizing from like super small to super big in slides. But 11 is pretty standard for like my clientele and just 11 is actually my personal size. I wear a true to size 10 in Jordans, Dunks, and pretty much everything Nike. But with the Yeezy slide, it's a little bit tighter around the toe and everything. So a true to size for me is an 11. So size up at least one full size. And there is no half sizes, unfortunately, for Yeezy size. So it's a little bit different. Say you wear a 10 and a half, I would definitely probably at least get an 11. You could get a 12. It might be a little bit bigger, just more room and stuff. But the 11 would for sure fit. Might be just a little bit snug. Unfortunately, just for the half size people that are true to size for half size, it's a little bit of a kind of like a hard decision to make. But if you're true size, I would size up one full size to just be sure and everything. And that should fit perfect and everything. But yeah, that is your box and everything. The skew on this shoe or slide, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit different than the first release, I believe. I think so. But the resin is the same colorway and everything. But getting into the slide itself, guys, what is your first impression? Let me know in the comments. Easy slides have just been going crazy this year. We've had usually like the restock every two to three months, but it's definitely been more recent and just it keeps on coming with new colorways. We had the flax, which was like a brown, a little bit like two or three weeks ago, not even and well. And then we had the bones and then the onyx as well. So definitely just a lot of heat coming, guys. I know there's a lot of expected colorways coming up in future dates and everything. But this is it, guys, in the resin colorway. I'm a huge fan again. I love green. Green is my favorite color. I do like dark green. This is kind of like an olive green in hand and everything. I feel like it's going to wear pretty good, you know. It's not too light, but it's also not, like, too dark like your Onyx. Of course, they're going to get dirty and everything with, like, the rubber on the outer sole. Especially the bottoms on these slides, they get torn up, especially if you wear on concrete and just wear about outside mainly. But inside and everything... That's why I like my easy size. I wear like North Faces, like loafers inside the house. And easy size are definitely like the second runner up. But easy size are just the most comfortable thing to wear when you're out and about and everything. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of new and recent people, especially with prices coming down to right around like $100, not above like retail and everything. Retail for the side is 60 bucks. Pretty fair price, I mean, you know, whatever. Even kind of like high as like a non like hype beast or reseller or just like a normal slide. 60 bucks is kind of like a lot for like a standard slide and everything. But you know, it's the easy side with Kanye and Yeezy. So of course the hype is going to bring up a little bit more money with the retail price and everything. So it's just shy of 70 bucks after my tax and everything. Which still, re or still leaves plenty of room for profit. And uh, what makes the slide so comfortable is the EVA foam that's inserted into the midsole. You can't see it, unfortunately. But on the outside, you got this nice, like, rubber, and, you know, that just kind of coats it. And it's a little bit different than the first release. More of this texturized, like, rubber on top. You can kind of see it and everything. But with the first release, it was more like a smoother coat and everything. I do prefer that 
over like the new um, materials and everything. Even though the first release of the resin on like SockX and GOAT for reference, prices are higher, which is really weird to me. It makes sense and everything. But with this pair right now on SockX and GOAT, depending on the size, it's ranging from about 120 to about 130, which so is pretty low already. And um, I, sh I think they're always gonna stay right around like 100 to 150, depending on the size and everything. So it's definitely affordable and a really good side to pick up. You got your Gita's on the bottom right here and then your toe and everything. It's a little bit tight on the toe. That's why I do say size up. And that's pretty common for Yeezy size, just to size up in there. Your size tag is in that inner side right there, but it's easily going to be wearing off. You know, it just has wear and just like sweat and everything build up. Your size tag, or not like size tag, but it has more information. It says Yeezy, made in China, 11 US in the size. It's kind of like engraved into the side, kind of see it and everything, but right there. And then that's pretty much it for the side. Super comfy, guys. You know the deal for Yeezy sides. Pretty much they're all the same and everything, just different colorways. This one is a definite cop for the personal collection, though. And it is 11 US, so I would technically fit me and everything. Going to be doing a try-on video, like a YouTube short, in the upcoming, like, a few hours after I release this video. So make sure you check it out on that. But for resale predictions, guys, this is not a good hold with Yeezy size, like, you know, restocking every so often, really, especially with the restock from the 2021 pair to the this pair, the 2022, it makes no sense in holding, you know. Easy size used to be like a better hold, especially foam runners, especially early on, but right now with all the restocks and everything, definite not a good hold. So do not recommend doing that. Just a quick flip, make about, you know, at least 30, 40 bucks. Plus, you know, depending on what size you get and everything for this one right here, we can easily make about 50 to 60 bucks or even double your money. Depending where you sell and everything, I would avoid StockX and GOAT just because of the fees and the commission and rates and everything. It's it's a drag, but try to sell local. Everybody wants slides. You know the deal for that, guys. So I appreciate you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video and staying until the end. Make sure you tap on my YouTube short for a try-on video coming very soon. See you guys tomorrow. And I'm bringing you guys more unreleased heat pretty soon, guys. Appreciate you all so much for watching. And the support has been insane. Thank you all so much. And I'm out. Peace.